the fallen idol. Coca Cola King. Uh, okay. I get it. Fallen idol. Because he's in the car and he's falling over the cliff. Oh my god, it's so clever. You have a new case. Two women. Possible drink drive. How was that a case? What? Broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? <laughs> Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. The thing was, he was a really nice guy. I felt lousy tolerating him. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too Let's hard. begin. If it's across the street, then it, maybe I just need to walk there. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in. So. P I O. I forgot how to run. He's only a rider, so can't really help me. Let me check how I run. Is it like this? Yeah, that's it. You in some kind of trouble? Right there. Do I even need to take my car? Maybe I should take it anyway. Which way should I go? Looking is the only way. Uh oh. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. Is it down here? Oh. Go down a little bit. Oh, I knew I should have driven. Let's just get out. That away? I think I actually went worse further away from it than I should have. Here we are. I took the long way, but I'm here. Where's my partner? What's that blue thing on the map? Never mind. This way. I could have driven up here. Damn it. Should have driven up here. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. Mm. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Female PI. Phelps, traffic. Phelps. PI? POI. Long time no Person of interest. Call this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, you'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Looks like a good case. It's interesting. Just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Driver's a bit of a bitch. Get out of my uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Okay. And I am looking around. I'm, I'm not, not her yet. I'm going to talk to her yet. Crash site. Beautiful. Let's go down here. Can I just go down? No. I am not going down that way. How bad is it? 
Come on, you can tell me. Down this way? Yeah, here we are. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. No? What have we got here? Let's have a look. This one? Di this one? This one. Well, that's a big ass letter. <laughs> I'm gonna read all this. Dear Jesse, please, please, Dan, please, please, Dean, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He has a hot temper and he can be very proud, but you're still his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, Dean, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. She's 15. I wanted to be just like Cla Clara Bow and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew up and married your father, I ne neglected. I would, I something I, n I don't know what that means. I would never have been happy in that life. I realized. Okay, you will realize realize it one day too. I'm sure Aunt June's looking after you. Aunt June, she might be a suspect, but I can't help worrying. You know what your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stands in their eyes, stars in their eyes. The R looks like an N. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to what's right in front of your art nose. I knows I. Emma and Molly miss you. Awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now. Little Molly's bright as a button, just like you were at her age. They need her big sister to look after them. Look out for them. Dean, Dean, Jesse, please come. Her name's Dean? Dear Dean, Jesse, please come back. I am frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night, young loving mother. Hamilton? Hamilton? Sad story here. Yeah. Hope she was not the one who died in the car. Anything in the back of it? No. And some underwear. Looks like it's been ripped. Mm -hmm. Worn off. Where did you find them? Stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Not looking good, boys. It's license plate on the floor. U six eight M T L California plates. Mm, nobody's saying anything to me. Somebody hit the head and the driver. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Is that the person waiting for the ambulance to come then? Because that looks like a big injury to me. Anything else in here? No. Let's go behind. Oh. Not those panties again. Press to look. Press to look. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Press to talk. Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <laughs> His drunken head. Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian drunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting mark? Is this another clue? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess. Then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. 
whoever did it wanted these women dead. Wow, okay, that is crazy. So this is putting the brake or accelerator or something to hold it down? Interesting. Okay, I think I found everything. I'm just quick a quick look around. There's very little on clues here. Fell from there. Oh, I missed anything. Let's go up. <laughs> Let's talk to the lady. So there's two ladies in the car. And it looks like they were... Well, somebody's trying to murder them. She survived. I don't know if one of them died and one survived. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name. I can see the head injury. Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. June Ballard. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? Men's women always trying to get in these pants. I don't like. Keep out of this. Uh... Doping allegation, injured female passenger, fake shrunken head. And let's just go little by little. Let's go for fake shrunken head. We found a shrunken head that was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. She was doped. Mm, she lying, doubt. The last thing she remembers, yes. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Okay, Mark Bishop. Okay, we got another person of interest. Observe suspect. Mm. Injured female passengers. Let's go for this what one. Can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. Oh, it's sad. It's a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. Is she still alive? Where is she? Mm. Something more to it. Let's go down. How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. She's 15. Old enough, sweetheart. As the saying goes. Well, she's an actress, so she could easily lie to me. What about the doping allegation? We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Mm, I think she's telling the truth. Who drugged you, Mrs. McAfee? <laughs> Really, you're a cute detective, but a little too naive for my taste. Last one. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I've been picking my questions in the order of least pissing them off. Let's have a look. Uh, She's telling the truth, I think. It's not going to play that way, Miss McAfee. We'll take it from there. <laughs> Relax, detective. You're not nearly as cute when you're mad. Mrs. McAfee, 
I think it would be in everyone's best. Only got one question correct. She was lying like a bitch. God damn it. You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. Oh, who's her husband? I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Mm -hmm. My car's all the way over there because I left it like an idiot. Mm. This is go get the car. Am I running? No, I'm not. Definitely running. This is going to be a tough run. But I can do it. Uh, I would look around a little bit more, but the games just told me there's nothing to see. So I'm just gonna go with that. Wait, 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 where's my car? Is my car over here? No. I should have just stolen the car. Did I come this way? Yes, I did. Definitely gonna cut this all out. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this all the boring fucking shit out. <laughs> all this running. It's beautiful to look at. Let's do a smell the flowers sometimes. Let's get back into the car. Where's my colleague? There he is. Get in! <laughs> oh my god, he knocked it out. Oh my god, he made the bleed so much. Jeez, okay. She survived. Let's go. Turn around, it's right behind us. We'll go through this one. Nice, easy drive. The hospital's very close by. It's good news. It was good for her as well. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Didn't even look like a hospital from outside. Clues. Looking for those clues. Anything happening now? It's going. Hello, Detective Phelps. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind me, Detective. Mm, right behind me. Just what, listen to what they're saying. What's going on there? Hey, where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? A lady from before. Press to talk. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to this guy. Hello, Doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Seems bit. Seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. I don't really want to go in here. Yep, I found her. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels sweaty. Okay. So walk up and speak to her. Talk. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident. He's got a ring on his finger. He's married. Um, okay. So look, let's go nice and easy with it. A uh, crash instant, contact with parents, let's go for... She looks suspicious, what the fuck? Not good. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Truth. Nothing happened yesterday. Lie. Nothing happened yesterday. Now... Nothing happened yesterday. Wow. Waking up here, she doesn't remember anything. Mm, must be a lie. 
the scoff truth, no doubt. No. You're holding out on me, Jessica. Please, I want my doctor. I'm not sure I can answer any more questions right now. What? Come on, you can answer questions. Association Bishop. She's looking shifty. Those shifty eyes. Evidence of criminal abuse. Association with. Oh, uh, let's just go with parents first. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry then. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. That's true, but. No, they don't. It's a lie. They want you to come back. You got a letter. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective. Why would I lie to you? They want you to come back home. The letter for the mother. That's what I think. So I'm going to letter for the mother. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves. June took you. Faint. I think I must have passed out. I think I finally got the lie part right. Yes. Uh, so, man, she's still looking. She's fifty. She's definitely lying to me. I think I'm gonna have to go accuse of lying a lot of times here. Evidence of criminal abuse. Association with Bishop. Who's Bishop? How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. He's doing a movie. Oh, that's your aunt. Okay. Seems angry though. Yeah, she's on the truth, yeah. What do you know about Bishop? He makes movies. I had to do a screen test. That's when you say some lines in front of the camera with the lights turned on you. Evidence of abuse. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Do you lying again? Because yes. I have no proof, so I'm just going to go for doubt. Um, okay, let's just look at the book. So, we got victims drugged. Letter from mother underwear. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to accuse her of lying. Then I'm going to use the evidence. Medical Samuel Jessica and criminally abused. I want to talk about her underwear. I'm gonna lie. She's lying. God damn it, tell the truth, Jessica. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. Go for underwear. Evidence of abuse. I think you should leave now. You're being horrible to me. Yep, I fucked it up. Think about going home. One out of four correct. I messed that whole thing up. I can't go home. I want to be a star. What? How can I keep choosing the wrong answers? What? Is something here of interest? Hmm. Okay, this is all bullshit. Let's get out of here. 